Peace and fam, blessings family. I don't normally come on TikTok more than once in a day, but I am trying my best to be more consistent. I'm trying to get the good lighting. I'm trying to be more consistent because I know that there's someone on my friends list that is actually not leaning on to their own understanding and guarding their heart against things that is not good unsavory not pure and they're reaching and seeking and the word does say if you seek you shall find knock and it shall be open unto you and so the reason why I'm posting this message is because I know that person need this and in all due actuality my ministry is servitude and I'm trying to reach my tribe. And until I reach my my tribe, I'm gonna keep on posting, keep on believing, keep on encouraging, and keep on uplifting. Because I know it's difficult and nobody's perfect. And y'all want it to be perfect, but I'm not gonna get on TikTok and fake it top making and act like I'm something that I'm not. There's nothing perfect about me. And there's nothing perfect about you but the message I'm trying to give to you is sis you're good enough king you're good enough and when I speak those things as though they already are true they will come true with manifestation and putting those words out into the universe and allowing your subconscious to acclimate itself to what you are telling it because the subconscious mind can't decipher whether you're telling the truth or telling a lie so it accepts it all and I'm telling you you're good enough because there's many days I don't feel like I'm good enough and that's just me being honest with you and being honest with myself I've come a long way and I had a lot of goals I am an abuse survivor and there was times I didn't think I was gonna make it out of the abuse there is times that I couldn't feed my kids, and someone else had to feed my kids for me. There was times that my kids don't even know about. I would go days without eating anything, just to ensure that they ate. Surviving abuse, there's nothing easy about it. Yeah, I wrote a book about my life, but I said I was gonna write a book in fifth grade. I manifested that thing. You gotta know anything you put your mind to, you can do it, and you're good enough. I'm here for comments and questions.